Hey folks, how you doing? Ron Raymond here from the Raymond Report with your NBA previews and predictions for a Sunday, May 2nd. Hopefully you're having yourself a good start to your day. As always, don't forget to subscribe to our channel by tapping that notification bell in the top right hand corner or hit the subscribe button below this video if you're on a mobile device. Alright, let's get to those NBA games here today in the first place uh, team now in the Eastern Conference, the Brooklyn Nets in fact. They are half a game behind the Philadelphia 76ers. So, uh, you know, slowly getting the job done here in Brooklyn. They fell behind, but now look at them. Top dog in the Eastern Conference. And speaking of top dogs, they're taking on the Milwaukee Bucks today. And uh, Milwaukee, a one-half point court favorite. This is a 3.30 tip-off. Should be a good game between the Nets and the Bucks. Looking at Brooklyn's last game, a 128-109 loss to uh, Damon Lillard and the Portland Trailblazers, where uh, Milwaukee TCB took care of business. 108-98 against the Chicago Bulls and looking at the record on the season 43-21 for Brooklyn 39-24 for the Bucks and uh, both these teams don't have no streaks to report we do have the Bucks winning by one 108.94 107.44 the over under at 216.38 so we have it going way over the under the total but the Kogo is at 53% so it does like it to go over on the percentage play so that's why you got to find more indicators to uh, string along a nice selection Speaking of those Portland Trailblazers, look at that. They are now coming into this game with a nice win in their pocket against the Brooklyn Nets. They, you know, they went through a little bit of a hiccup, a five-game losing streak, but now they're on a three-game straight-up ATS win, and they're taking on the Boston Celtics, who are coming off a 143-140 uh, gut-check win, right? Those type of games, yeah, that's gut-check time. And, uh, hey, Jason Tatum, 60 points in that game. And uh, great performance by uh, you know the Batman of the Boston Celtics. And now you look at this game, a one-point favorite today against the uh, Trailblazers, and the over/under set at 232. We do like the Celtics here, 113.1, 110.69. The over/under at 223.84. So we do like it to go under the total. 25% chance of covering the spread for Portland compared to 59 for the Boston Celtics, who are on a two-game win streak, and their last four games have gone over the total. New York taking on the Houston Rockets. The uh, Knicks coming off a 113-94 win in the last game. That was three days ago. And uh, now heading to Houston to see if there's a problem in Houston. But I guess not. Well, maybe <laughs> maybe there is because they're coming off a loss to Golden State. 113-87. Only scores 87 points in that game. 16-48 on the year for the Rockets. 35-28 for the uh, New York Knicks. Thibodeau could be the coach of the year. Having a great season. Uh, 110.5 to 108.5 for New York. We do call for an upset here today in Houston, and we'll see if there's a problem tonight at the Toyota Center. 8 o'clock tip-off. Phoenix taking on the Oklahoma City Thunder. Now, this is a good spot for a letdown. You know, Phoenix coming off that blowout win over the Jazz, 121-100. to Taking on the Oklahoma City Thunder, who are coming off a 152-95 loss to Indiana. Wow, allowed 152 points against. But you know what? Public's going to see this. They're going to see uh, Phoenix winning a big game. Oklahoma City getting thumped in their last game. This could be uh, closer than uh, what you think. And people are saying, oh, I don't think so. Well, you know, 16-point favorite. I'm not saying Oklahoma's going to win, but there's a pretty good chance they could cover the spread here. That's a big total of a uh, big side total of 16. But we do have the uh, the Suns winning by 10 here. 119.9, 109.4, the over-under at 229.4. Uh, Oklahoma City coming off two straight up and ATS losses, where Phoenix coming off three straight up wins and against the point spread. So the percentage play... 60% does favor uh, OKC covering the spread. We also have the Sixers beating the Spurs, 113-111. The over-under at 225.71. Philly now a three-game win streak straight up and against the spread, where the last three games for the Spurs have gone over the total. Miami taking on the Hornets. We do like the um, the Heat winning this one, 107-103. The over-under at 211.04. The Heat on a two-game straight up and ATS win. The last five games for Miami have gone over the total. Sacramento coming off a 110-106 win over the Lakers in the last game, taking on the Maz. The Maz is a six-point favorite in this one. They're coming off a one-point win over the Wizards last night. Uh, three straight-up wins for Dallas. The last three games have gone over. Again, we got Dallas winning this one, 117-113. The over-under at 231.63. So we do like this game to go over the total. And the final game of the evening, 10 o'clock tip-off at the Staples Arena uh, Center. Uh, we got the Raptors taking on the Lakers. We Lakers minus seven and a half point favorite. The over/under at two seventeen. Forecast gonna lean with uh, LeBron James and company. One eleven to one oh six. The over/under at two seventeen point eighty one. Sixty two percent chance of covering for the Raptors, who uh, covered yesterday against the Jazz. And uh, let me see here for the Lakers. They are coming off a loss to Sacramento. 
two nights ago at 110 and 106. So they're on a two-game uh, losing streak, and they've lost six against the point spread. So we'll see if they can turn it around tonight at the Staples Center. There you have it, folks, your NBA wrap-up here today on the Rain Report on our YouTube channel. Don't forget, you can find me each and every day at ATSStats.com. You can check out my premium picks, and uh, hopefully we can uh, get you on a nice little winning streak. As always, shop for value. Play those percentages. We'll see you back here on a Manic Monday. Cheers.